What's up, Nintendo fanboys and girls? Mr. T here. <laughs> it seems we must be in another dry spell, since the fanboys are, what I guess, are in another full-on Nintendo attack. Or at least from what I'm hearing. I say from what I'm hearing because I'm not subscribed to the usual suspects who spout their monotonous usual Nintendo whining. It's old, it's boring, and it's certainly not clever. Nintendo fans, why do you keep hitting yourselves? <laughs> I don't listen to some of the bigger YouTubers because at a certain point, many of those dudes start phoning it in, especially the big opinion dudes with gimmick names like Crazy Joe or Angry Andy, um, you know, because by nature, they have to live up to their names uh, for better or worse. You probably remember that hack, uh, Irate Gamer, who always had to pretend he was, you know, angry or irate when he uh, reviewed video games because his character called for it. I just don't trust those dudes' opinions on this kind of stuff. Especially when the company they're crying about is essentially taking money out of their pockets. I check in on Angry Joe uh, from time to time, although I'm not subscribed. He's sometimes entertaining, uh, most of the time, and I get why he's popular. I've seen enough of his videos to know that he rarely even does uh, videos on Nintendo games. So when Nintendo starts their YouTube program that everyone hates, he now decides it's time to start making Nintendo videos? Uh, knowing that Nintendo would claim said videos so he can make a, you know, a big angry rant video that certainly would get more views than him doing a video about Mario Party 10 of all Nintendo games. Uh, it's suspect, fraudulent, obvious, and lame. Fools is making his money, you know? My question is why do you Nintendo fans fall for the same song and dance letting the unclever monotonous tricksters swindle you and get you all in a tizzy every time? Stop hitting yourselves, Nintendo fans. Stop hitting yourselves. Every week, some YouTuber is spouting their Nintendo was dead, Wii U is dead, and irrelevant video. I made the comment that when I'm dead, I hope that people talk about me as much as they do Nintendo. <laughs> uh, if Nintendo was so irrelevant or dead, these dudes wouldn't be talking about it as much as they do. Am I wrong? You see anybody making videos or hate videos and angry rants about Ouya? Of course not. Everything the big end does just is so compelling to these opportunists and naysayers. You see PC elitists who spend almost no time on their channels talking about PC games or gaming, PC gaming. And when they do, it's usually some PC is better than consoles, master race, gobbly gook. You know, same old thing. But if I felt like what I was doing or enjoying was the best, then uh, I think that's what I'd be talking about. You know, that thing that I think is so great. But that's just me. When these guys do talk about the things they supposedly like, it's usually so lifeless and bland, and they only truly get excited or animated in their videos when they're talking ill of Nintendo or Nintendo fans. That's when they get excited. I saw a dude who owned the Wii U at the time saying that the Wii U games were lackluster, but then I saw him in the comment section of uh, Hippity Hot Players asinine video on racism against the Order 1886 and praising that game. Uh, saying the video was good. Vide good video, man. <laughs> uh, am I supposed to? Am I supposed to trust that dude's opinion? I mean, come on. We got dudes making fun of people for trading in consoles and then turn around and do the same thing. Hey, Ja Rule, this Fifty Cent, this Fifty Cent dog. You supposed to be a hardcore rapper, but you be doing too much damn singing like a bitch in your songs. You know, you need to stop that. And when you do stop that, go buy my latest smash hit. Girl, I got 21 questions, and they're all about us. <laughs> That's what these dudes are doing, man. We got some people saying Nintendo was irrelevant and dead, but they make videos trying to imply that it's Nintendo's fault that the 8th generation of gaming, for them, has been the weakest. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> you can't be irrelevant and also be the reason for the industry stagnation. I mean, <laughs> oh man, I mean, you can't have it both ways, brother. <laughs> I got this one dude, oh man. I'll just, re I'll just refer to him as a uh, Cali Stalker Stan. And uh, this dude has been salty about Mr. T probably since my first Attack of the Drones video. I mentioned dude in that video for like 20 seconds and it's been like damn near two years of salt. <laughs> This dude, you know, he'll, he'll drop in once in a while to drop a salty-ass comment. But he won't just show up, you know, on my videos. He'll follow me to, like, 
uh, somebody else's video and I make a comment on another video and he'll ask a question or, or say what he thinks is a dig at Nintendo that has nothing to do with that video, mind you. But he'll, you know, something will happen in the world of Nintendo hate and he'll come to that video and come to my comment and reply. Hey, have you heard this about this or have you heard that about that? <laughs> Uh, dude thinks like, <laughs> this dude really thinks like Nintendo negativity hurts my feelings. <laughs> he hurts my feelings or something like, <laughs> uh, is this dude serious? A dude's like him serious? I mean, come on, bruh. Really? You know, these are the type of people that Nintendo fans are dealing with. Nintendo fans like myself are dealing with on a daily basis. He really thinks that I take this stuff personally, man. It's not personal, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> it is just video games like you know i love my hobby but it ain't it ain't like that it, it really ain't like that man they think that they're getting to you on a personal level with this stuff i can't figure it out i can't figure out why this dude i mean he puts on a severe obvious front like he is he is detrimentally insecure like <laughs> like you know and i mean detrimentally insecure Seek help. Seek help, Stan. Seek help. You got a lot of dudes who simply don't enjoy gaming anymore. And the thing is, I've always had, you know, a, another console to go along, another console or two to go along with my Nintendo console. And that's even when Nintendo was, you know, dominating and was on top. Um, I still always went out and bought another console or, or more because no matter how great a, a system is and how great it's selling, blah, blah, blah. It's never going to be pleasing you as a gamer all the time. You know, there's never going to be games that come out for it that that are for you and please you all the time. And that's never been the case. So when my Nintendo console is quote unquote dry and there's nothing on it at the moment that I want to play, then I move to my other console and I spend some time over there. It's always been that way for me. So these dudes that come out and act like, oh man, I have buyer's remorse. Uh, there's, there's nothing on this thing right now. Trust me, these dudes are not gamers, bruh. These dudes are very new to video gaming. And they expose themselves with comments like that and actions like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on. Like, I've been doing this a while now. I've been, I've been, I've been video gaming a while. Longer than some of these dudes have even been around <laughs> on the earth. So come on. I mean, that's why I don't trust these dudes opinions, man, because they say things like this that expose the fact that they're new wave gamers. They haven't been doing this very long. This is something they jumped on because there were a lot of people over here, you know, and it was a social thing and, you know, it was a way for them to be a part of a group uh, or because they, you know, they feed themselves with YouTube money. They have to continue on, even though they're burnt out and their heart's just not really in it anymore. They're making too much money. The console wars are uh, keeping their lights on and providing and providing motivation to keep limping on instead of doing something more fulfilling so they can be happy again. This gaming thing is stealing their joy and they in turn have to steal your joy, Nintendo fans. Just don't let them. If you enjoy something, why do you need the validation of others or the majority to enjoy that thing? Why can't you just enjoy it and tell the haters to kick rocks? Here's a system that didn't sell that great that I really enjoyed. Here's a system that didn't sell that great that I really enjoy. Here's a system that didn't sell that great that I really enjoy. Here's a system that didn't sell that great that I really enjoyed. Here's another system that didn't sell that great that I really enjoyed. Another system that didn't sell that great that I really enjoyed. Here's a system that didn't sell that great that, well, Somebody kind of donated this one to me. I only got a couple of games for it, but it's pretty cool. I tell you, I tell you these dudes are phonies and not real gamers. You have dudes picking up that corporate slave mantra about you as a Nintendo fan, while at the same time trying to prove their positions with corporate sales figures as proof to why your favorite console sucks. Spouting sales figures <laughs> like a corporate drone to prove to you why something is good. Trust me. I understand Nintendo fans. Being a Nintendo fan in this community is like being in an abusive relationship with a bipolar, egomaniac wife beater. You ain't nothing, bitch. You're irrelevant. You're the laughing stock. You're a weirdo. But I love you. I need you. I can't stop talking about you. You complete me. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Nintendo fans, get out of that relationship. Unsubscribe. 
It ain't healthy. Love yourself. Enjoy yourself again. And remember why you're a gamer. Nintendo, let these phonies and cronies fight over resolution. And, and remember, even with the Zelda U delay, Wii U still has some great exclusives coming this year. Xenoblade Chronicles X, Devil's Third, Yoshi's Woolly World, Splatoon, Fatal Frame, Mario Maker, Rodea the Sky Soldier, Star Fox, and whatever other surprises Nintendo will bring to E3. Not too bad for a dead, irrelevant console, eh? Let these dudes fight over this nonsense. Let them fight over who has the best looking third party meh T plats. <laughs> you know, I gotta get my dig in. Flip the haters and just do you, Playboy. Everybody doesn't have to enjoy your favorite console for you to enjoy it. Just remember that and stop crying over these fake dudes' onions. I get it. Nintendo fans in this community get the most flack, so it's reactionary to become probably one of the most defensive fan bases because of the constant bombarding we receive. Just remember, you're a Nintendo fan in colorful land. <laughs> and while that may be tougher in this community, you can handle it. You can handle it with the Mario style smile on your face. Woohoo! I bet you feel better already. Peace out. Oh yeah, one more thing. Play Nintendo, fools.